Welcome so much, Akasha here, and um, we're having this fun, spontaneous live stream together today. And um, so what we're gonna do is energy scans uh, or readings of your energy field based on specifically the idea of money or success. So this has been a topic for my spring uh, sale and my spring, spring conversation and it's about aligning your spiritual values to your money your income streams your work whether it's a job or a career or a business or art or whatever it is that you do what is it that you put into the world uh all right kitty 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 i love that let me clear Kitty, your royalty. Um, purple, uh, crown chakra colors, uh, amethyst. Uh, these are very important for you to help you realign with your royal blood, with your royal lineage, with your royal um, funding. There's a, a royalness. Uh, now, remember, these energies manifest in different ways. So if you're like, oh, I'm going to marry a prince. Well, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we've seen that happen in this uh, decade, even, I think. Uh, so, um, however, I'm talking about your self-image, your wealth esteem, your understanding of who you are, uh, that you have had royal lives and these want to be balanced and want to be used. So many royal lives uh, are not in balance and we see throughout history, uh, wars and torture and different things. Um, and we see being in power and having it taken away um, and perhaps killed or burned or outcast. And we've had uh, benefit well, yeah, benevolent leaders, benevolent royalty. Um, and we have inspiring royalty. So the royalty nowadays is much more sort of inspiring when we see uh, fairy tales come true and princesses get married and, and things like that. So uh, the fairy tale is, isn't, it is the energy of you. But this isn't about being Cinderella. Uh, this is about freeing yourself from the false you that she was convinced she was. She was suppressed. Uh, she was put down, right? She was uh, forced to labor. She was not respected. She was not allowed to be seen. And this represented what her reality became. But inside of that, she was so happy and she made allies with nature and she found joy in her days and she allowed her heart to be kind and still willing to be open. And then when she realized that what her truth was, was to be an inspiration, to step into her royal energy, Royal energy is uh, your spiritual truth, all right? You are divine, and when you acknowledge your crown, your coronets open, and your energy opens and connects you to your higher self and to other realms and to the infinite abundance of the world. But what's important for you is that whatever success, money, opportunities, ideas, they must be aligned with your spiritual values. So that amethyst energy of your spiritual royalty and to your willingness to accept your royal position, meaning I can be in power of my life and whatever else that means. And I can be connected to my spiritual uh, royalty, my values, and I can be a guardian of power, of money, of energy. I can 
use it to grow things for the greatest good. And this is what's most important for you in everything you do is you hold those two energies. You stand within yourself the way that you would see somebody who's completely accepted their position with this open connection, knowing that when you say, yes, I'm strong enough to be the authority of my reality, and yes, I am connected enough and, and I'm supported. Uh, the other thing about royalty is they don't do everything. They have help. They have support. Not in an obnoxious slave and servant way. They realize in order to step up and do their job to be the best they can be, they can't be the ones doing the shopping and cleaning the toilets or whatever, doing the research for the project, whatever it is. So it's important that you accept more help. You look for more ways that you can be supported. This way you benefit others because they get to do what they're good at. They get to be prospered and you get to be supported to be who you are. You need to be in a mindset that stands at the center on the throne, essentially meaning in your own authority and not influenced by anyone else. You own your kingdom you own your queendom, you own your mind, you own your reality, you stay at the center, you use the violet flame, you use the amethyst ray, you use these powers to stay in a place so that you can use the powers you have to create a reality that then everything and everyone that comes into that reality is in your kingdom or your queendom or your reality. And what is the reality they're going to experience when they're in your reality? All right. So your success, your money, your abundance is very rooted in this self image, this energetic stance, this position. There's also some leakage in the Don Chen in the sacral area. And so you want to put your hands over that and you want to ask to seal and accept your own power. So this is where you're not holding your position. You're not um, willing to really um, fill your coffers so that you have a rich kingdom. Uh, and there's fears and there's some lifetimes that had some painful situations happen where you had your wealth taken, your position taken, and position came with some very big challenges. So those are the things that will keep uh, keep you from or will try to uh, keep you from acknowledging and living in that very centered inner authority space and this is the time to heal them. So we're going to do a violet flame cleanse. This is for uh, Kitty and for everyone and for all of us. So we call on the violet flame, the seventh ray of transmutation. We ask that you transmute all energies that are outdated and old that clog and block us from our success on our spiritual terms, from alignment with the infinite field and from opening to the infinite number of sources for money, riches, opportunities, fascinating work, loving connections and beauty that we can put into the world. And now the reconnecting starts. So the violet flame connects us. Once it cleanses and transmutes all old heavy energies, it connects us to our purpose and our path. Take a moment and breathe that in. I accept, I receive, I am open and I graciously and gratefully embrace this new wealth esteem, this new vision, this understanding of who I am this fascinating journey, this adventure. I'm ready to stand in my power, own my authority, realize that money is my ally and that all of my talents are here for me to use, to be for the greatest good of me and for the world. Because being me, being abundant, receiving money, 